Calibur here, and I've got another unboxing for you. This time it is a continuation of a previous campaign by the name of Hero Realms. Yes, we now have the campaign deck, and I believe it's right in here. Let me go ahead and open this up, and we will see exactly what's in here. I'm using the face, the knife of face maiming. Yes, I know. I'm making sure that I'm not maiming my face with it, because that would be bad if I did that. All right, and oh, there's one. Oh, there's packing peanuts. Beware the packing peanuts. They are hazardous to my health. Inside here, I have found the Draco Lich. We've got the Lich. We've got the Ruin of Thandar. And we have something else. The Year Two promos of Star Realms. We'll take a look at these. These are definitely going to be really fun to play. You going to see if there's anything else in there? Nope. Nothing at all. So let's take this box and set it aside. I don't want those packing peanuts to fly everywhere. And we are going to start with the year two promos. So let's go ahead and open this up. Yeah. Now, I'm going to say this once. I'm not a big fan of the rip here and pull down the length of a card kind of packaging. You might want to change that because you can easily damage the cards when you do so. Alright, so in here we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. One for each day of the month, or each, um, yeah, well, 12, 12, each month of the year. I, I, I know my calendar math so we've got bounty hunter and cargo mech and federal transport federal transport then we've got imperial smuggler a couple of those and then a night star i'm not looking at any of the abilities probot probot we have the stellar ray the war kite and another war kite and that's it so those are the 12 you can find them online. These are going to be going into my Star Realms kit as soon as I am done with this. I've got to find the sleeves, though, because I use a, a certain type of sleeve for each of my games. <laughs> All right, now let's go ahead and get into these. I don't have any scissors with me, so what I'm going to do is use the knife of face maiming to slice across the top, which would be nice if there was a rip right there instead of down the side, as I previously mentioned. Because the reason why I do this is I can then turn these guys. Alright, knife of face maiming. Don't name my fingers. We don't want to change your name. I turn these into uh, ways to organize the cards. Because they're, they're large enough to hold sleeved cards. And when you take off the top and the bottom, you've got this nice wrap around the outside and I cut it close enough so that I can open it but also I don't kill the title so in here we have our rules right here some one sheet rules on how to play and this is Hero Realms boss deck rules and on the back it's also got uh, the Lich rules right there specific to him We'll set that here. Uh, we have ourselves uh, the Lich's life counter. And we're going to start with the basic stuff here. We've got gold, gold. Oh, how about gold? We've seen the gold. All right. We have his ability frozen touch. And it'd be a lot easier if I had, if I had my thing set up filming from the top but I don't have that right now we have minor summoning my major summoning we've got a ruby a soul crush soul diamond we have abomination we have banisher ghoul or was that banisher banshee banshee sorry the ghoul and then we've got the Revenant, and Skeleton Horde, Skeleton Horde, Skeleton Horde, 
Wall of Bones, Wall of Fire, and then a zombie. Only one zombie? Wow. And then Deep Insight. And the Heart of Evil. The Infernal Wealth. Manipulation. And Unending Rage. And Void. And then finally we have Corruption. Oh, that's a big one. And it's got two sides. So this is a Lich Power. And then finally we have a Lich. And on the back it's got a list of all the cards. Uh, the Soul Jars, the starting deck and everything. Then Minor Summoning, Major Summoning. We're back to the Rubies and all that. That's a Lich. This is a boss deck that you will be fighting. And it is really cool because it adds another element to the whole game. So one player playing the boss deck <laughs> against a team of one to five players, each using character packs. So this is sort of like having a DM versus a players kind of deal. And you've got your big old bad boss monster. Now we have the dragon. The dragon. Dragon, dragon. Let's go ahead and open this guy up. And make sure I'm not cutting open my fingers. Maybe I should invest in a pair of scissors for these kinds of operations so that I don't maim my face. But then, what would I call those scissors, huh? All right. In here we have our Hero Realms boss deck rules, but this time it's got the dragon rules in it. And as you can see on the front, it's got a nice little um, diagram that shows a fighter, cleric, wizard, thief, and ranger versus the dragon or the boss. And that's how these decks work. Again, we have our health cards. We've got the dragon, nice big old flying dude. And I'll go ahead and show you the, the main cards. We've got the dragon here with all the cards that go in his deck. And then we've got uh, his power. But on the back is a beautiful, beautiful mm, treasure hoard. There we go. And we will make sure that that is in proper order. There we go. Now here's the deck. We have an Amulet of Cleansing. And then Boots of Speed. So it's like you're going into a Dragon's Horde. And these actually have the same treasure back as the other dealie. Crown of Will. And the Gauntlets of Strength. And the Guardian's Shield. And the Orb of Death. What's this? It's the Ring of Wishes. And the Sword of Destiny. The Demon Coin. The Dragon Bite. Now we're getting into the regular Hero Realms cards that go in his deck. We have Dragon's Fire, Dragon's Fire, Dragon Tail, Elven Gold, Guildmark, Horde, and then Imperial Chevron, Cunning Blow, Dragon's Claw, Dragon's Claw, Dragon's Claw, and a Ruby, Ruby ruby and then we have the prismatic diamond and another prismatic diamond and then we're back to the amulet of cleansing so this is all about fighting a dragon in his tomb and hit not his tomb in his lair so you've got all his treasure everywhere and that made me wonder does the lich actually have special backs on some of his cards And yes, he does. I didn't even notice that. So we have some regular Hero Realms cards. And then we have the Lich back. And then right here we've got like magic item backs. That is pretty cool. That gives us a bunch of different types of cards. And it looks like I'll need different sleeves to s make them separate. That's, that's how it goes. Now we get into the big one. 
this guy is supposed to have some oversized cards and a whole bunch of other stuff in it. And, by the way, all these are just standard. All these were standard uh, 63.5 by 88 millimeter or 89 millimeter, 89. Anyway, they fit standard Magic the Gathering sleeves. No problems there. Let me just turn down that volume because you can hear my phone go, hey, 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 all day long. So inside, nothing special on the inside there. Now we have the rule book for the deck. And this thing is pretty packed full. Here's the table of contents. If you have not seen this online yet, it probably is out there. I'm going to make sure that I've got a digital version to, for all my um, for my tablet so I can bring that around. It's got um, card anatomies for masters. Excuse me. For minions. And then, of course, the master setup and a bunch of other stuff. It's mainly text. There's not a lot of graphics in here. Um, it does show some diagrams. Let's see here. So you can see the thief and what's nearby and what's not nearby and stuff like that. And it shows skill trees because there's skills that you can obtain during this. So there's, there's that rule book. We have the actual adventure book, which I am not going to open because I do not want to spoil anything for anybody. If you want to go online and find the um, the adventure book, you can. Let's see here. All right, so it's going to be... We'll show you the, the first page. How about that? So it tells you the chapter one, the encounter, the setup, and everything like that. You'll get all that in there. Now... Ugh we have some oversized cards right off the bat and the cards are a little bit bent and I'd have to say that it's partly due to the size of the cards and partly due to the median in the deck in the box now this box is not gonna hold your card sleeved not at all so your best to just Pull the cards out of here and get a box that will work because this deck here is going to easily double in size when you sleeve it easily double in size and when you put the cards doubled up like this you can see that it lifts the lid of the box by quite a bit so that's one strike against it uh white wizards we sleeve our cards and when we sleeve our cards, we need boxes that can hold them all um, right from the get-go. Anyway, so we have a bunch of these oversized cards, like the Enthralled Regulars and Ruinous Zealots. These are the Masters here. And it gives starting health and stuff like that. Here's the Vexing Imp and Ruinous Archpriestess and Slaughter Claw and... Ingarash the Insatiable, uh, the Laughing Shadow, Kraken, uh, Karakun, Flesh of Iron. And then we're back to our enthralled regulars. So these guys, <laughs> I believe these are standard double sized cards. They're 120 tall, millimeters that is, by. It looks to be 89 wide. So if you think about a 63.5 um, doubled, so you should be able to get two of these cards side by side on it. Let's just grab these two decks out of the box and see. They look to be a little bit larger. But in any case, these are about the same size as Magic the Gathering oversized cards. Just so you're aware. I'm going to put these back in here so they don't get damaged. They are linen. And they are pretty hefty cards, by the way. Nice and thick. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Here, I'll turn that. Nice and thick. And uh, if I turn it just right, you should see that it is indeed a linen finish on these cards. Really nice quality cards. I'm very impressed with that. 
Now, let's take a look at these guys. We'll start with the ones from the left. We have all of our different cards that are necessary for the campaign mode of the game. And I'm going to do my trick where I just take this off here. And I'll set that right there for now. That's fine. And we'll slide the cards out. And what I'll do is I'll put the cards back in there until they're sleeved and in their final box. So, these guys are campaign abilities. We've got fighter, campaign abilities, and then it's going to go to cleric and all that. So, I'm just going to show you a couple of them uh, from each class. Here we go. We've got our fighter. So, we've got devastating blow and shoulder bash. And... They're double-sided. I don't know why you would make them double-sided with the same exact thing on both sides. You could have easily... Well, this one has the same on both sides. This is tap and two. This one's tap and two. So that fighter skill, and this is a fighter campaign skill. Oh, maybe these are replacements for the base fighter cards. Hmm. And there's another fighter campaign skill, knockback, and then we've got our shoulder bat, so shoulder smash, and then a knockdown, and group tackle. And then we go on to our, oh, another one, a shoulder crush, and then we hit cleric. So I'm just going to set these down here on the side. I've got a little tin here, I'll put them on. So we've got our cleric skills. And it looks like there's five of each. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it might be that there are multiples and I just missed the fighters, but there's thirteen uh, cleric campaign skills with cleric skills on the back. And I'll just show you a couple of them here. We've got Mass Resurrect, we've got Bless of Steel, and Bless of Soul. So there's those. And then we are hitting minions. So here's an idea of a minion. They're like the smaller monsters that you fight during the campaign. This is a Runas Chanter, and a Stone Golem. So there we go. There's a stone golem right there. These are There's a lot of cards. So we have a bunch of minions here. And they've got uh, the regular hero realm. So these go in your market in your market deck. And you'll be able to buy them. Then we have some masteries. Which look like they are different colors. One for each class most likely. Then we have different elixirs, uh, strength and endurance, and wisdom. So looking at them, they give you a special bonus. Like, you, uh, how would I explain this? They're sort of like heroes in Star Realms, where you're given a scrap ability. So it's like drinking the potion and throwing it away. So you scrap it, and you get a different ability, like drawing a card or extra health. Uh, we are seeing Sacrifice the Top 4 Cards. This is um, whoever the, the white faction is. Then we have our Thief abilities. They just showed up out of nowhere. And there are three of them. I guess the Thief didn't need that many. Special abilities. We've got some special items here. And they are all skills, it looks like. Item Relic. Here we go. These are relic relics that have the hero realms back, so they go in the deck somewhere. Then we have our thief abilities, some more of them. Looks like it was split up a little bit. Like pickpocket and sleight of hand, and swipe and misdirection and distracted exchange. Anything thievery ability. And they're all double sided. Excuse me. Then we've got our rangers capabilities I'm going through to grab them all here so it looks like 
There we go. These are all your different ranger abilities, like quick shot and twin shot, and so on and so forth. They um, they look pretty interesting. Then we have additional health. So uh, we have a cleric that is uh, plus seven and then plus fourteen. I don't know if I like that. It looks like they've made the male more. Well, no, it's just different sides. It has nothing to do with the art, nothing to do with the gender. So that is pretty nice. Get plus 8 and plus 16, plus 6 and 12. Looks like it's double the front, and the wizard goes to plus 10. The cleric goes from plus 7 to plus 14. So that's deck number 1. There are two total decks, not to mention the, the oversized cards. Let's open up these, and it looks like we're hitting the wizard abilities now. And let's see if I can't get this off there. Here we go. Oh, -ho. I am looking forward to playing this set. I tell you what. So here are all the wizard abilities. Wizard campaign skills and wizard abilities on the back and then we got some more fighter ones so we found the rest of the fighters so we have all these here it's um flame burst so it's all the wizard spells and stuff like that barreling fireball and soul channel you'll be able to see these later on let's set that there we have more fighter abilities why they split that up i don't know but these are all combat-based ones, like Whirling Blow, Mighty Blow, Crushing Blow, and so on and so forth. And these are fighter campaign abilities, or not champion abilities, or anything like that. The artwork is pretty amazing. I like it very, very much. Now we have here, we have a veteran follower that says Cleric Champion. So these are more followers. They're... Um, they're your champions in the deck, of course. So tapping him gives you three combat, and he's a guard. So you have to do one damage to him to get through. And we've got cleric items and fighter champions and fighter items, ranger items, ranger champion. And there's a bunch of thief. Like, you got a knife belt. What thief in D&D did not have a knife belt. Uh, most of the people I played with that had thieves had um, a belt that they were bristling with knives from head to toe and everything. We've got wizard items like the serpentine staff. And, ooh, okay, the silver skull amulet looks pretty cool. Let's see here. Now we're getting into minions again. Okay, so those are all the items. Let's look at these minions. And they're pretty much about the same as the other ones. We've got Ruinous Disciples. And it looks like we have one for each different color. Each different faction. And then we've got the Enforcers. Yeah, it's one for each faction. And then we've got some Biting Imps. So we'll just show... Yeah, they're all the same. So we'll just show the first imp. There we go. And then we've got Twisting Bolt, which is a curse. So you get hit with curses, if you remember those at all. Let me get this set up. Uh, let's see here. We've got a Charging Drunk. Yeah, you need that kind of minion in your in your party. So, yeah, I've got a little light up above here that's causing a shadow. Sorry about that. And then we've got a crazed bartender. So a bunch of drunk guys, and then the bartender comes out. And then broken tables and chairs. Temporary insanity curse. All right. Now we got some more, more dudes. We've got vampires. We've got ambushers and we have some clinging imps and then an action this action is escape 
and a captive. And some ruinous, ruinous chanters. Runos Chanters. Now, a lot of these have to deal with the actual campaign, so stopping and reading all the abilities and all that would give a lot of the spoilers away. Let me grab the grab this here. So, this is meant to be a nice way to play like a D&D style game of Hero Realms with your friends or solo. I believe this is uh, from one to X players. Let, let me see if it actually has that listed on the box. So it's 12 plus, yep, one to five players. So this is definitely a way to play the game solo, and you can go on an adventure and enjoy like a D&D-esque style romp through the Hero Realms universe. So that has been the Hero Realms, the Ruin of Thandar, and the uh, Star Realms Year 2 promo unboxings from White Wizards Games. This is the second part of the Hero Realms Kickstarter campaign that ended last year. And we are finally getting everything for the campaign. So I can check off that little green mark that I've gotten it. And I can go up to my friends and beg them to play a game. I don't really have to beg that much. Because we all pretty much enjoy playing Star Realms and Hero Realms. So that has been the unboxing it. If you like this video please like comment and subscribe it really helps me out a lot and as always this is excalibur and i am out